Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is my birthday, it's my birthday, it is my birthday. I am officially 30 years old. Yay! <laughs> oh, guys, there is so much that I want to share with you, and um, I want you guys to stay tuned in. Listen until the end. Try your best. If you have been rocking with me since day one, I appreciate it. I love you guys so much. Like, for real, the love is real. Um, I had no idea I was going to shoot this video today. I, um, I turned 30 years old today. And there was something in my spirit, there was something in my heart that told me to shoot this video and to be transparent and honest with you guys. And... I, 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 and I, and I, that's what I'm going to do. So this video is going to be real raw, just straight honest with you guys. And just, you know, just be honest about my life and my transitions and things that, you know, has happened to me and, you know, where I am now, where I am now as a 30 year old. Oh, that's also crazy to say as a 30 year old guys, <laughs> get old. <laughs> Honestly, I'm so excited for this new chapter in my life. Um, 20s was fun, you know. Um, for me personally, I think 20s was a lot of getting to know who I am, making a lot of mistakes, you know, not, you know, having a lot of wins and mistakes and just, just learning. Like, you know, 20s was a hot mess. Like, I'm hoping that 30s is better, you know? Uh, well, I'm, I'm not hoping. I know 30s is going to be better. I feel like I'm definitely more stable. I'm definitely more like, you know, a little more level-headed, a little more calmer. You know, guys, I'm going to get into it. So... If you've been following my journey and you've been watching my videos and you've been, you know, I've kind of thrown a little bit in there, you know, about my life and, you know, you kind guys kind of heard like snippets of my life and things that I've gone through and, you know, all of these things. So first, let me start by saying like, I've never wanted to be like a celebrity. I never wanted to... You know, I didn't come on this YouTube thing to like become famous or be like, that was never my goal. My goal was to share with you guys my journey, to share with you guys, to give you guys information. I've always tried to give useful information. So if you go on this journey that's similar to mine, you know the good, you know the bad, you know the ugly, you know what to look for. I've made mistakes for you guys to avoid those mistakes. I've wanted to do useful information like that was always my purpose I never wanted to like create a video and be like okay guys so today I am painting and watch me paint and I, I never wanted to have content like that like that's just not who I was like I was like listen I want to tell you guys exactly what you're gonna come you know at, at at the embassy, what you're gonna deal with how to deal with this how to avoid these mistakes how to not lose you know, hundreds of dollars for making this small mistake, things that I've seen and da 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 et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So with that being said, this is my last YouTube video. I know, I know, tear, tear. This, and I'm going to explain why. This is my last YouTube video. Um, Here's why. First of all, it took me a long time. It took me about the past year to really, as you guys know, I have been posting less and less frequently. And it has been really dawning on me for a while now to make this decision as to, you know, can I keep up with the content? How do I feel about being on YouTube now? Am I, you know, like it, it took a lot of like, this is not something that was a quick light decision. This was a decision that I sat on for like an, a year, you know, of like talking to other friends that are YouTubers and, you know, just really like it just really dawning on me, like making this decision. And to be honest, I didn't fully come to terms with it until 
like I would say just a few days ago, approaching this 30th birthday, I was like, you know what? I have to stop being in denial and I have to start being realistic with myself. So let me explain to you why. Um, and it's not personal. It's, it's really not personal. It's not because, oh my God, like I, I, I don't like YouTube and da, 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 da. I love YouTube and I love talking to you guys. And there is going to be a plan. There's going to be a plan B. I, okay, let me get into it. First of all, when I started this journey, I was a single, you know, I was, I was a single young mother trying to travel and doing all these things. Now I have been traveling on the content since I was on, on the continent since, since 2014. Um, I had started off with this study abroad program in my university and I traveled to South Africa and I absolutely fell in love with it. Like I fell in love with it. I knew as soon as I graduated school, I wanted to go back to South Africa. Like, and that was like the opening of the can. And then from there, I was just any chance that I get any break that I had in school, I was just traveling. I was, I wanted to go here. 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 Right now, anybody who knows me, and I'm not talking about who's who's known me as an adult. I'm talking about people who who's known me since I was a child. If anybody were to ask, if you were to ask any of them, Diamond, you know what? People who know me as Diamond, not as Jules, like you know, when I was in school, I've always talked about, oh my God, I want a million kids. I want to be married. I want to have this beautiful house. Like I've always had, you know. And I know times are different now, you know little girls are growing up wanting to, you know, do other things versus, you know, um, little girls are growing up. They want to do different things than when I was a little girl. But when I was a little girl, I've always dreamed of, you know, being a mom and having a family and, you know, just, just the life that God has blessed me with now, basically. And like, even when I tell my family, like, hey guys, I'm pregnant, you know, which I am not pregnant right now, <laughs> but I'm saying like, when I did tell them, like I was pregnant and I got married and all that stuff, like they were like, we're not surprised. Like this is, this is, you know, even when I told people I was moved to the continent, like my friends, my family, like they were like, we are not surprised. Like this is, this is what you manifested. Like you wanted this so badly from you being a child. This is what you wanted, you know? So yeah, I, um, you know, it's no secret. I grew up in foster care. So I didn't really have anybody besides my brother and my sister. And, you know, being in multiple homes and, you know, throughout my life, I was probably in maybe over 20 foster homes and experiencing God knows the trauma that I went through. And, you know, kind of like having this, you know, I'm going to get personal, you know, because this is my last video, so I want to be honest with you guys. Kind of having this, like, you know, hatred towards my biological mother for, you know, leaving us and us being in the system. And, you know, I've always wanted this, like, mother-daughter relationship, and I never had it. And I was just so angry. I was very angry as a kid, you know, which, was, which is what my tattoo is here. I don't know if you guys can see, but this is me crying on the stairs looking at this family portrait, wishing that that was something that I had, you know? And this is what I experienced as a child. Most of my childhood was just like, like I, wa I wanted it. Oh my God, I remember being in school and being jealous of those girls where they, you know, they're, they're, they had these, you know, you know, because a lot of people hear about fathers not being around, but you don't really hear about mothers not being around, you know? And I was, I grew up angry. Like I grew up angry and, and I, I wanted that. I wanted that so bad. And I promised myself when I was a little girl, if I ever became a mother, that I would give 110% to my kids and that I would be that mother that I never had. Like, like that was so important to me. So when I came on this journey, I had no idea I was going to meet Hope and I would get married and I, like I would meet the guys, guys, Hope is the love of my life. This is not about him, but like when I tell you God has blessed me with the most amazing man, like I feel so blessed. It's not even funny. Like, you know, it's like, you know, sometimes I'm like, I have to like, like really diamond? Like, is this really like, you know, you know how you, sometimes you sabotage your own happiness because 
you're waiting for it to fail. And I'm like four years later and I'm like, like, it, it, like you're trying to sabotage yourself. Like, you're waiting for it to fail. You're like, mm, I'm too happy. Something ain't right. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I felt like I went through that, like the first two years of our marriage, you know, like just kind of like waiting around the corner, like, hmm, is something, you know, something going to happen. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but anyways, um, I had no idea I was going to meet him in my journey. And it was not something that was planned. It was not something that, you know, I was looking for. And I guess they say, you know, when you're not looking for it, that's when it happens. Um, I had my faith and stuff like that. But honestly, I wasn't praying to God to meet a man. Like I was praying to God to be happy. I was praying to God to keep me safe during my journey and stuff like that. And he blessed me with this amazing spouse, this partner, this life part. Guys, till that, like, guys, till the end. Like that is my, that's my rock. That's my, guys. <laughs> so it's like we created this, bonds we got married and even when we got married I was still you know juggling you know YouTube and, and, and sharing you guys information and being there for you guys and stuff like that and then next thing you know I got pregnant and I had another little girl you know and you guys know you know I had another little girl from my first relationship that I was in and so now I had two little girls and I feel like managing one baby was doable. But then once I had two, it was like, okay, this is like, I got to devote my time to this. And I was still trying to juggle. I was still trying to juggle YouTube with it. And whenever I could, okay, let me make a video. Let me make a video. And by the way, I also want to say, when I started off YouTube, it was a fun thing. It was something that I wanted to do. It was something that, you know, was just a hobby. It was something I really loved, you know, just sharing with you guys and all of this stuff. And then when, um, after I had my second kid, it started to feel like more of a job. Like I felt like, oh my God, oh my God, okay, I have to do this. And then when I didn't do it, I felt so bad about myself, like, Oh, I didn't do it. I did. I couldn't get to that YouTube video. You know, it, it was just hard. And then it became really hard once, you know, I started going through the whole legal battle with my ex for my first daughter. So it felt like impossible. And at that time, I was an emotional wreck. I, I'm pretty sure if you guys have been around, you saw how that was for me. And then after that situation, I had to rebuild myself again. And I'm not talking about YouTube, guys. I'm talking about emotionally physically mentally I had to go to therapy I had to heal from that trauma because I realized that um my husband was doing nothing to me but because I had that trauma from my ex I was acting in a way that like my like, like as if my husband was doing something to me you know um and he wasn't you know um, you guys already know, you know, I came from a domestic violence relationship and it was, it was, it was awful. And it, it took a lot of like, I mean, when my husband met me, I was still having nightmares. Like my husband would like hold me and like, it was just awful. And hope definitely helped me through that. Um, and therapy and healing and prayer. It was just a whole journey within itself. And that was not something that I felt comfortable you know, showing you guys or sharing you guys. I don't like oversharing, you know. Um, I didn't want for you guys to see me in that. Because when I come on YouTube, I'm always such a big, bubbly personality. And I'm just always happy and all this stuff. And I, I didn't want you guys to see me at that, I think, at that very low level. Like, I was very, I was at a very low level in my life at that point. And that was, what, 2022? And I didn't want you guys to see that, you know? So I stopped posting. Um, when I had good days, I would post something that I felt was useful. But it was really just like a face, you know? It was just really just a face, an, an act of, okay, let me just get through today, you know? And, you know, let me let me just get through today and, and just post this video. And again, it just felt like 
it just felt too much. It felt too much and it felt like I couldn't really heal and 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 go through what I was going through and then come on the camera and be fake with you guys. Like I that's not my MO. That's not who I am. So I just decided to stop posting. A lot of you guys are like, where is she? Where is she? Da, 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 da. And I'm sorry. I'm really sorry for, you know, dropping every once every three months and stuff like that. Like, I'm sorry, but like I had to take, I can't be good for you guys if I'm not good myself. And at that time, I wasn't good. So anyways, that was back 2022, right? Then I got pregnant again. I got pregnant again. And I had my little boy. And oh my God, guys, you didn't tell me if you have a son. It's just so different. Oh, I'm so madly in love with him. Okay, I'm madly in love with all my kids. But, you know, having a son is different. And not only that, he's going through his toddler phase. And I feel like my girls were much easier during their toddler phase than this boy. I mean, guys, he is off the chain. Like, he's plugging things in the electricity. He is, you guys, you got to watch him. Like, you have to watch him. So my eyes are constantly on him. Like, I'm trying, I'm trying to juggle a bunch of things. And pretty much guys like my priority is to be mom number one point blank period this is something i've dreamed of since i was a kid i said i promised myself when i was young that i was going to be the best mom that i could possibly be i'm going to devote my time to my children i'm going to do all of that so that's how it was for me so for the past year especially after i have my son i was going back and forth because now i have three kids I was going back and forth with myself. Okay, what time do I have to make YouTube videos? Okay, I'm going to find this moment. And then whenever I would find the moment, the kids are screaming in the background and I don't want to share my kids online. That was also another situation that I was trying to balance, you know, trying to have boundaries. I don't want the kids online because because of obvious reasons. I don't need to explain why children shouldn't be online, you know? So I would share some of the children on youtube and then later on i would regret it like oh why did i do that like why is there what 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 why did i share that you know why did i you know really out the past year i've been trying and even talking to like my friends you know guys how do i balance this like how 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 do i do this like and it just became no longer fun youtube became no longer fun for me um, it was something that I felt was dawning on me and I felt guilty of not posting and I felt like, you know, why? Like, I just felt like, why, you know? And then a conversation, I had a conversation with my husband about two weeks ago that dawned on me. He was watching a video online and, I, and oh, sorry. Another thing was after, after. My custody case was over, which was 2023. I deleted social media off my phone. I deleted it. I'm on social media. My accounts are active, but it's no longer on my phone. I made that decision um, after that because I said, I'm going to devote 100% of my time to my kids. I don't want to miss anything. I cannot spend the time scrolling. And I felt like whenever I had social media on my phone, I'd be scrolling. So my husband had got me an iPad. Um, when did he give me an iPad? I think that Christmas. And I have social media on that iPad. And what I would do is like, you know, once every two weeks, I'll go on there and I'll check, you know, the Instagram, the Facebook. I'll check all of those things and reply to you guys' messages and stuff like that. But I don't have it on my phone. Because, you know, I want to spend time with my family. Like, and that was another thing was like feeling guilty of that. And I realized, especially approaching 30 and especially the conversation my husband and I had two weeks ago, which I'm going to tell you about, I no longer feel guilty. And I think that's why I'm making this video telling you guys like, yeah, your girl is bouncing. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm bouncing and I don't feel guilty about it at all. I mean, I love you guys and stuff like that. But like, guys, this is, this is my life, you know? And, but anyway, so my husband and I had a conversation two weeks ago and he was watching a video and it sparked a deep conversation. Um, the video was, it was, it was, it was a silly video. It was about like, oh, in, you know, um, two, 
what was it? I don't remember the year, but it was like a year, like hundreds of years from now in this and this and this. What, you know, you will be long gone and life is going to move on without you and this and this and this and this and this and this. And it sparked like a really deep conversation between us. And I was like, oh my God. I was like, we were talking about it and he was like, babe, this is what I be trying to tell you. Like, we have to live every day like it's our last, you know? There was two conversations that touched me. But he was like, you know, one day we're going to be long gone and our kids are going to be long gone and our grandkids are going to be long gone. And he was like, one day we are just going to be those ancestors. The way that we say, oh, our ancestors, he was like, no one's going to know our name. No one is going to like, the human life is so short. And he was like, this is why I tell you, baby, don't stress. Don't try not to stress about things. You know, let's just live. Let's just live. You know, let's just, let's just live. And don't worry about tomorrow. And even though that's very cliche, it stuck with me. Like, it, it like, really stuck with me at that time, especially the whole ancestors thing. Like, one day, oh, my God, we are going to be the ancestors. And people are going to be like, oh, yeah, my ancestors told me to do this, you know? And that's going to be us. And it just showed, for me, for me, it just lit a light bulb. Like, it just showed me, like, yeah, this human life is so short. And I cannot be a people pleaser, and I have to do what's best for me, period. And another thing that touched me was another conversation that my husband and I had. I forgot when this was, maybe like a month ago, maybe two months ago, but it still stuck with me. And you guys know we're building our house, right? We're building our house. Guys, we're, finally, we're, we're probably like maybe like 75% almost done. But we're building our house. And he was, what was he saying? He was saying something in the lines of like, um, we were watching, we were watching like, like Bob Marley or something when, you remember the, the famous question like about richness and Bob Marley was like, it's not about, you know, it's not about money. And my husband, it reminded me of that. He had said something to me in those lines like, you know, we are so blessed. We are so rich. And I was like, what you talking about? We are rich. He was like, look around. Look at our family. And he was like, money don't make you rich. Like this, this happiness, this love, this, this. And it had another light bulb to me. Like I was like, wow. And it actually hit me last night. So last night, my husband took me and the kids out um for like a pre-birthday pre like the last day of my 20s we all went out to this nice restaurant and I'm sitting there and I'm just looking at him and I'm looking at the kids and my son is smiling and everybody is just happy and other people are looking at us and I'm assuming because my kids are so freaking cute they're just looking at us and they're smiling and I, I just for like a good six minutes I'm just staring at them and my husband's like babe what are you looking at why are you looking at us like that and I said this is the happiness that I never thought I would have this is the happiness that I wanted as a kid this is the family that I wanted and I had no idea that I would see it in my lifetime and That was such a so real moment for me last night. And I said, you know what? This is what I want to focus on. I want to focus on my family. I want to, you know? I mean, it's what I've been focusing on. I've been focusing on my family for the past, what? Um, ever since I got married, you know? But officially. Like, I wanted to officially make this video for you guys and let you know that I, if I find some useful information, I would share it, but I am quitting YouTube. I am. I'm never going to get this time back again. My kids are going to grow up and my kids are going to have their own lives 
and they're not going to want, you know, you should see their excitement when, you know, we, we were going out. They're so excited to be around mommy. They're so excited to be around Baba. I don't want that. That time is going to fly by just like that. And I don't want to think back and, and think that I was just spending all of this time shooting content and I was spending all this time, you know, on social media and I was, you know, and I was so distracted that this time just passed me by and I don't want to do that. I'm sorry. I am so sorry to like, you know, disappoint you guys, but I hope that you understand, you know, you guys got four years of my content and I'm not removing my content so you can gladly go back and another thing that I want to open up is a line of communication. I think that is much easier for me at this point in my life to talk to you guys one on one than to sit down and make a video. And, you know, so like if you are coming, I am open to meeting you guys. Um, if you guys want to chat, if you guys have some questions, I'm 100% I'm open for that. My WhatsApp number is open. I don't have a problem with that because at that with that, if my kids are napping, if something's going on, I could just easily send a voice note and it's much easier for me to send that voice note for two minutes, three minutes than it is for me to sit down and make a video like this. It's just much easier for me um, at this point in my life. And yeah. And you know what? Now that I'm saying it, it feels good. <laughs> It feels good that I finally made a decision about this because this is really something that I have been dawning on for the past year. And it feels good. And I feel like it is the best decision for me right now. I want to focus on us finishing our house. I want to focus on even when I travel, you know, like I, you know, when we went, when we went to New York that time, like I brought the camera and I never even picked up the camera one time because when we were on the plane, I was like just appreciating something that I never had as a kid. And I always said, I never, I never wanted to be my mother. I wanted to be there for my kids. I wanted to make sure my kids never went into the system. I wanted to make sure that I gave them a loving, beautiful home. And you know what, guys? Things are not getting easier. I'm becoming more and more busier. My son is running around i have to watch him you know my like my, my daughter's about to start school she's turning three i gotta prepare lunches i got like th there's just so much that is happening in this household and i'm loving i'm loving every hard moment every easy moment every everything that has to do with parenting i am loving it i am loving it i'm absolutely loving it and i don't want to miss that I don't want to miss that. And another thing is I'm starting I'm starting school October 17th. I am starting um, school to learn fluent Swahili. Guys, it's a shame. I've been here four years now and I would say I know like medium Swahili and I want to be fluent. I am taking that dedication to be fluent in Swahili. And yeah, I just got other things going on. And... I want to give my energy to that because like I said, my kids are not getting younger. I'm about to have a seven-year-old. Like my kids are not getting, my kids are not getting younger. I want to devote my time, my effort, my love, my energy, everything to that. And I really hope that you guys understand, but it's been a fun ride. It's been a fun ride. I've loved meeting you guys and i'm still i still want to meet you guys if you come into tanzania please 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 come come and see me i'm here i'm in arusha i'm here um and then i'm not cutting off i'm not cutting that off at all like i love meeting you guys i love please send me an email send, message me on whatsapp like i am 100 percent open with that i'm just not posting videos anymore but the love, the connection is always still going to be there. It's always going to be there. Um, and I'm here. I'm, 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 I'm here. I have found my forever home in Tanzania. And I'm happy. And I really hope you guys understand. And I love you. And I will see you later in person. Bye.
It's been real. Jewels on the run.